What's up? My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or probably by Infinite. And today I'm going to show y'all how to make producer tags. Let's get it. Hey, go ahead, Infinite. All right, cool. So the first thing that you need to do is just think of something catchy. So obviously you could just say your name and just be like, Infinite. You know what I mean? But like, what's the fun in that? You feel me? Like, I feel like some of the best tags ever are just like really creative, really catchy and everything like that. So I would highly suggest to take a little bit of extra time to really make sure that you're getting something that's catchy. It could be something that your friend says, your mom says, a girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, whatever. Uh, or even something that you think of yourself, but just try to make sure it's something catchy and has a little bit of rhythm to it. All right, so for this video specifically, I'm just gonna kind of mess around and I'm just gonna say infinite was good, brother. That's gonna be the tag that I'm gonna do. So let me record it real quick in FL Studio. You don't necessarily have to have a mic like this to record it. My tag that everybody's heard on all these records and all these beats and everything like that is just something that my sister recorded on her phone. She sent it over to me and I did my little thing on it. So don't think that you need some type of high quality mic like this because you can absolutely take care of it with an iPhone. All right, so now let's set up the mic real quick so it'll take up the recording. I'm gonna go on Mixer Channel 5 right here. And then I'm gonna go to this little drop down menu right here. And I think it's this one right here. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Well, I wonder how the audio is gonna be for y'all. Like, I wonder, like, is this doubled or something? I don't know. But but now, as you can see, the this is so weird. I can hear myself. Okay, hold up. We need to do this real quick because I, I can't listen to myself talk and talk at the same time. That is way too freaky. So as you can see on the mixer channel right here, it is taking in my voice. So we're going to say the little phrase, the little catchphrase and everything like that. And then we can start doing the edits. And also, great, great tip. Always make sure this is so weird. Okay. Also, great, great tip. Make sure that you're doing multiple takes because you really want to make sure that you're getting like the right take. And sometimes the right take isn't necessarily going to be the first one or anything like that. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. So I think that's going to be enough. So let me take off the mic because that is freaky. Okay, cool. I do not like being able to hear myself talk when I'm talking. All right, cool. Now let's listen to these recordings just to find out which one's the best. If it was good, brother. 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 Now I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to change it up. Um, if it was good, brother. The better, the better. If it was good, brother. I'm trying to keep my side open. If it was good, brother. Okay, so I think the ones I like the most are this one right here. Infinite was good, brother. And this one right here. Infinite was good, brother. I'm going to just rock with this one just because I think this one clean. So we're just going to chop that out. We're going to bring it over here to the very first. And now we're going to put it on the mixer check and start putting effects on it. So I don't necessarily know how like compression works and everything like that. I really just pull up a, a compressor and just go through different presets. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good. Infinite was good. Infinite was Infinite was good. Infinite was good, brother. So I kind of like the classic rock vox right here. Infinite was good, brother. Inf so I like how that sounded right there. Now we're going to take some reverb and put it on there. Usually you're supposed to use like a bus or a sand or anything like that, but I just play everything by ear. You feel me? So I'm just going to turn the wet knob down, turn this up, turn the decay up a little bit too. Turn that low cut up. Infinite was good, brother. Inf now, I feel like that's way too much reverb, so I'm going to turn it down like this right here. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite. Infinite was good, brother. Okay, 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 okay. That sounded pretty cool right there. Now, I'm going to take some delay. My favorite delay is Valhalla Supermassive in general, so I'm just going to use this. I'm going to turn up that low cut. So, the reason why I like turning up the low cut knob on these, like, reverbs and delays and everything like that is because when you start putting a lot of effects on things, it can get muddy, like, really, really quick. So, putting up that low knob can definitely help out with that. Turn down the mix on this. Infinite was good, brother. Okay, you got to turn that down a lot. Now we're going to extend it out just because I want to see how it echoes off. Infinite was good, brother. That's kind of hard right there, not going to lie. All right, so now we're going to put in an EQ. Now, actually, we probably should have did this first because technically you're supposed to like EQ everything before you start like putting it through the effects and everything like that. So I'm going to take this EQ. I'm going to put it at the very, very top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some of the low end. We're going to boost some of the highs. 
some of the mids. And now we're just kind of kind of listen and tweak it to how we see fit. So something that a lot of engineers like to do is that they'll take one of these bands right here. They'll turn it up all the way and they'll make it like super, super narrow like this. And then they'll kind of like sweep over everything just so they can hear like really bad frequencies and then they can duck them out. Infinite was good, brother. It does sound pretty bad. Infinite right was good, brother. So let's just keep an infinite. That. So let's just actually duck that down a little bit. Infinite was good, brother. Now let's do that one more time with another band. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. I'm gonna duck that down a little bit too. And I'm gonna take up a little bit of the uh, the highs as well, just so it's really crispy. And then I'm also gonna do like a slight, slight boost at the bass, just so it feels a little bit more full. So let's listen to it without the EQ, and then we'll listen to it back with the EQ. So this is without. Infinite was good, brother. Then we'll put it with. Infinite was good, brother. You know I mean a little bit less muddy, a little bit more clear. Now what we need to do is put a de-esser on here. So I think you can do it with like a Maximus, I want to say. Yeah, see, de-esser, narrow band, de-esser, split band. Um, I don't normally use Maximus, but we can try to like mess around with it a little bit just to see how it sounds. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. Infinite was good, brother. All right, so the producer tag sounds pretty good so far. Now we're gonna take an extra step to kind of make it saucy. This is how I make reverse reverb intros for my beat tags. Let's get it. So now that I have the little beat tag right here, I'm gonna make a copy of it right here. I'm gonna mute this one because I just want to keep the original intact. And I'm going to cut it off so we only get that like first syllable. So the first syllable is like eh. I'm gonna cut it off until it hits, so only says eh. eh. Maybe a little bit more. You kind of got to play it by ear. Now I'm going to take a little automation clip right here. I'm going to do like a um, like a fade in because it is kind of sharp. Okay, so that sounds good right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over into a new mixer channel. And we're just going to throw a whole bunch of reverb on it. So you can actually just do this with Fruity Reverb 2. Just take down the dry knob, turn up the wet knob turn up the uh, the size of the room, and then also just turn up the decay. So see how it shakes like that? That is not what it's supposed to do, so we're gonna try to mess around with the settings just so it doesn't sound like that. All right, so now that it's sounding good, I'm going to export it. So now that it sounded good, I'm going to do a quick internal export. So I'm going to go to the mixer channel. This is where the reverb intro is on. I'm going to hit this little button right here to make it red. And then I'm going to highlight this right here and make sure that it's on two bars because that's as long as I want the rendering to be. Now we got to go back to the mix channel, highlight it, hit Alt R. This is a little pop up right here. going to hit start. Then boom, we got to export it right here. Now we're going to mute these, reverse this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's sounding good. So now I'm going to unmute the original one. Move the highlight over to four bars right here. And now we're going to do it one more time and try to line it up. Infinite was good, brother. All right, so as you can see, it doesn't line up perfectly. So I do kind of got to like drag it over a little bit. Infinite was good, brother. Hey, hold up. That sounded kind of hard. That sounded kind of hard. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Infinite was good, brother. I like it. All right. Boom. Bow. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Infinite was good, brother. Look at me now. Let's go. Boom, bow. Look at me now, bro. Let's get it, bro. That's hard. That's actually pretty clean. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I needed a new tag, this wouldn't be that bad. Oh, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Hold up. Infinite was good, brother. It's pretty hard. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Bow. That's how you make your tag by yourself and you don't need help from nobody except for this tutorial right here. My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite. And if you need a free drum kit, click this little link right here. Bow. Hello.